Hello everyone, welcome back to Trip Dog Gaming here on YouTube. This is the game The Infected and we are in Season 3, now Episode 21. And I went to sleep through the night and then I heard that sound. It's a pretty cool sound actually, but where are they going to attack me? They're coming! Probably the area that I'm not at. Get ready, Mike. We're heading for a fight. I think it's the one where you hear the chiming sound. Oh, there they are. The horse knight thing. Three, four, five. Holy crap! So some of them have died straight away. So I think I need to help them. I think that's what the problem is. They need help. Can I get you? See, I don't know whether they're actually damaging the spikes, and you don't want the spike to be destroyed. So there was five in that lot. I'm so glad, though, that they do a bit of damage, but not a lot. That's alright. Electrical parts, health, oil can, chicken. <laughs> Biofuel. Sorry, chicken, but... I was looking for her before. She was making a heck of a lot of noise. Alright, this time, instead of just moving one, I'm actually going to build one. Uh, it's construction, isn't it? Construction other there. Alright, we might put one there. I'm just thinking, I might see if I can put a couple of spare ones here at the back. If I'm going to make one, I might as well make three, if you know what I mean. Cut down this tree, cut down this, pick up everything I possibly can. We need to go get some rope. I keep thinking these guys are little mushrooms, but they're not, they're just kind of little flowers. Alright, so sticks for you. Oh, that's right. I'll throw these over the top. Sticks for you. Do I have enough sticks? Two sticks and three rope. That's all I need. One stick. <coughs> you watch, I'll probably mess this up. There's a stick, I think. Uh, just take a bunch of that. I always thought that would be pretty cool because then you don't have to worry about I'm picking up all sorts of stuff now. There's my other stick. Jeez. What am I missing? Huh. There you go. Yeah, give myself another couple of um, defensive spikes just sitting in as backup kind of thing. Um, okay, upstairs I guess. Uh, electrical parts... Uh, health was around here, wasn't it? <coughs> there it is. Yeah, health's doing alright, isn't it? Yeah, I think, I was thinking about it, uh, I like to keep a fair few health kits on me as, like, you know, being prepared and all that, but I think, uh, was it Caitlin in the comments had mentioned about it too? Yeah, you don't realise, they're actually pretty heavy. You kind of, you kind of don't really want to keep too many on you, I suppose. Uh, yeah, but I, I know what I do. That's one, that's less than one, yeah, I'll probably keep them, but, yeah, keep forgetting, that's what keeps your weight up pretty high, you kind of uselessly have too many on you, I suppose. Alright, put that back. Plant fiber. Yeah, the tree bark's full, but eventually, eventually I'll end up um, using it all up, I'm sure. So, oil, biofuel. That was in the plant fiber one just before. Yeah, I'm going to have to reorganise all this because I often get feathers and then I have to come all the way up here to drop them off, so it's kind of a bit silly. Haven't even got to the um, the episode yet. Oh, I thought I saw a pigeon or something just sitting there, but not. Alright, all good, all good. Uh, what's this doing now? It's got... Five oil. Actually, I might, um, hang on. 
drop that off. Are these done yet? Are you done there? Are you there yet? There's four. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that'll make up that. Did I pick up ten? I think I did. Okay, keep an eye on these guys. I keep forgetting about these because they're around the corner. So if I, if I can, split one, keeps that up. Oh man, you know what we need. Ah, <sighs> we do definitely need the oil pump. That would be handy. How good are these guys at the moment? That doesn't really need oil, and the same with that. It's once they're under three quarters that I can kind of do something like this. And I still don't trust that they don't consume all of your um, gear. Or, or your oil, since I did the bug last time. You go to put in four oil and it takes everything in your inventory, which isn't good. Alright, take care of that. So, we've got a few things to do today, uh, a few jobs that we have to get on to, so let's drop these in here. Are we up to ten yet? I think that's nine, isn't it? Yeah, okay, one more aluminium we can cook up again. Guess what we're going to do? Finally, come out and tell you. Um, electrical saw benches instead of these guys. That's what we're going to do. Um, let's take all these so they're all emptied. I mean, the other thing too is, I mean, John was mentioning it, and you go, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, the production is so, so much better. Oops, wrong way. Throw these in here. You know, you're getting four boards instead of two boards, which makes a lot more sense. So thanks to John for the comment and for reminding me. I'd have to check the, the tech, so... Circular saw bench. There it is there. So we've got four points, so we'll learn that one. So now we can actually make it. Ooh, it's a rainy day. Um, let's throw all these guys in. That's pretty... <laughs> I'm just on the edge of the caves that goes dark. Alright, so the question is, um, this area here has to be pushed out to make the barn. So eventually this is going to have to be moved. Um, um, and um. wonder whether I should put them along here. Kind of in the way. See, I could push the defensive line back a fair bit further as well, that's another thing give myself some more space. kind of like the idea of having them up against here. Hmm. You know, I just got attacked. I wonder if I can just move these back a little bit. Give myself a little bit more space, perhaps. I'm, I'm assuming... Oh, I just hear a wolf then, but <laughs> I was going to say, I'm assuming I've got some space here. I'm not going to get attacked by the Vambies. You just don't know, do you? See, that was the one advantage of the old system, is you kind of knew if you're making too much noise, you're bound to be attacked kind of thing. Is that... It's a bit squashy, isn't it? Oh, they'd still get caught on that. Alright, let's move these around a bit then. So that can maybe go here. I love the idea that you can move these around and you can stand on them while you're moving. It's the same with the chests. I think they work really, really well. Another one there. Actually I've got my two spare ones in here as well. How close am I putting these? Maybe they're a bit too close. Actually, I might take the outside ones and move them back a little bit. That's a good gauge, I suppose. I haven't really got a proper, <laughs> proper fence in order yet. I'm very lucky in one way. They've done quite well, these defensive 
spikes. They're not exactly the best defensive things. They haven't upgraded them yet or done anything like that, and yet they've done such a good job. Alright, let's grab this spare one. Yeah, how close is that? Yeah, that's, that'll probably still work. So maybe here? I'll leave this one as a spare. Can we move that one? That's better. Kind of a little bit like that, I suppose. Alright, that still gives us a, our kind of defensive run. Hopefully that still works. Then I think this guy here is kind of in the way a little bit. Might bring him up here. It's almost like a spare, I suppose. Doesn't like that that blueprint, does it? Being there. Well, get through that, Vambies. All right, let me just pick up this mess that I made previously. Okay, we've got one spare just here. Kind of feels like that's in the way a little bit as well. Maybe just put it up a bit closer. There you go. All right. Well, that gives us a little bit more space. <coughs> okay. So we are going to place uh, in workbenches. Where's my? Uh, what am I looking for again? The circular saw bench. There, it's right in front of you, Trev. Right in front of you. So, how many should we have? Maybe we only need two down here. One there. Actually, that is true, you know. Maybe we only need two. So, it comes across here. Okay. And then really, I need all the log stands moved if I want to put the barn down here anyway. Oh, that's right. That's going to be a <laughs> crap sake. Uh, I'm thinking of Mike. Anyway. So, what do we need? Four mech and four elect. Two cobalt. Man! We should have all these, though. We've got so much stuff up here. So, there's that. Take all that. Uh, I wonder if we can split this properly. I do that. You should have eight of each. Uh, what did I say? Um, was it two cobalt? Where's my cobalt? Two cobalt. Uh, was it eight iron? Or was that eight iron each? Oh, I think that was. Hang on. I'm not going to have it unless it's over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What weight am I? Oh, I can, I can take them, I suppose. Yeah, I can still run with that. Uh, put some sticks back as well. Can I put some over here? What is that for? Alright, I think I should have enough to do both of these. I've got to put oil in it as well. Oops, there's one. There's the other, there's a stone. Alright, need to grab a little bit of oils. I've got a feeling... Um, wasn't that the one that you had no choice? Oh, sorry dude, he's... Hang on. He, he's thirsty thirsty, I'm neglecting the poor guy. The poor guy. Drink that, eat that. Yes, I know, you got to... Keep your food up, dude. Alright, I've got two meat there. I might put this off for um, biofuel, I think, this chicken. Now, actually, does the chicken meat go for biofuel? I can't remember. I might play it safe, just cook those up. I probably will go through them. But I've been using the potatoes, and they've been working really well. Uh, okay, what's my water like? Might fill it up. All good. Dying for this. I've been watching. He's been putting some stuff in here, which is pretty pretty good, I suppose. So he's on to this second level of chests. Oh yes, yes, yes. 
Oh, that's what I've been waiting for. Just some of the food to go off and give me some... None in that one, none in that one. Okay, so this far right one he started to use. Okay, that, that's fair enough. I just realised something. Am I over... I think I've used up all my... Um, stick capacity, if that makes sense. Uh, I can squeeze that in there. Uh, plant fiber, throw a stone in there. Where is this chicken? Just there. <laughs> Couldn't see her from the other side. Can I get up? Thank you. Alright, closing that. Might as well cook it up. Now, how much biofuel can I get? Is there a dozen in here? I think there is, so... We just do that four times. I'm gonna put the biofuel back. Now, that's two, right? I don't know if there's necessarily an easier way of doing this, but... Anyway, it doesn't take long. So there's two lots of four, right? So I should be able to get these guys up and running. So we put four in there, right, so that'll be right to go. Actually, I'm a little bit surprised, so he hasn't grabbed any logs over here, has he? I can't physically move this, hang, hang on a second, if I... And then I pick it up. Can I get it over here before he decides to... Where am I putting it, Trev? <laughs> Maybe just here. Maybe just move him to there. Now, wherever wherever Mike is, he should be able to come over here and sort this out, shouldn't he? That's not my log, by the way. There he is. Now he'll go put him over there for me. <laughs> That is so amazing. I'm just wondering what he's going to do over here. I've got to kind of move it before he realises that it needs to be fixed. If that makes sense. There you go. He'll come over here again. You watch. It's pretty cool in one way because you just get he's so so cool at getting all the mess fixed up. Now, is he going to put it in there? Can I put this down or what? What's he going to do? Oh, that's gone up a level. What's it sitting on? <laughs> oh, it's sitting on top of the other log. Oh, that's a bit bizarre. Oh, actually, hang on. No, because the problem is if I do this... Oh, hang on. No, I kind of have to, um... I've got to move this before... What, what's he doing? Is he just hold on to it? Oh, have I moved it or not? Oh, this is weird. Oh, did you see that? Oh, wow. That looked a bit weird. No, 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 don't, don't, don't. <laughs> Hang on. If I've got it in my hand, right? Oh, I don't know whether he will or not. Oh, where can I put this? Um, maybe just here on the edge, on the corner. He, he might be okay with that. So how many more I got? Three. Oh, I think it's hilarious. Tris trying to move all these things without him. I just have to grab it before he's... And it's kind of funny because it's still there, see? So when I go to put it down, it's actually already full. Oh man, that is weird. Uh, now, should I put it like this? You right there, Mike? <laughs> For crap's sake. Hey, John, I think he's stuck. Well, you walked in there. You You walked and got stuck in there. I can't move it now. I have to do an unstuck thing for my going. I can always call him back. Actually, not a bad thing. 
Because if he is stuck, I'm not sure if he is stuck, he might come flying over here in a sec. Hey, that's the way to do it. Get him stuck so he just stays out of the way for a sec. Then come over here and put your. You gonna, he's, he's gonna be right. He'll be right as long as he doesn't go hungry, but. <laughs> that is kind of funny. <laughs> uh. On your mic. He's still there, he's still there. Holy dooly, can you imagine? Oh my goodness. Can you imagine if I left him there, how big his biceps would be? Look, he's just... If that was a barbell, he'd be doing, like, heaps and heaps of bicep curls. Go, Mike. Go, go Mike. Look at him go. Keep going. I'm not sure how many reps he's done, but that's probably about... I don't know. Maybe appro approaching 100? No pain, no gain. Hey, Mike. Alright, let's see if we can fix him. So that's all cleared now. That's pretty cool. So we'll, um... Oh, it's in his house, isn't it? Hang on. Just a second. Just a second, Mike. I'll be with you in a sec, okay? <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. How's your, how's your biceps? Feeling okay? you got plenty of logs to fix up. Did you notice that? Look, these are empty. Up he goes. On your mic. Actually, I might have to build another one of the stick stands. Eh... Yeah. Oh, his priority is the plants. Plants first, hey Mike? And then onto the logs. Yeah, I might build another one of these. Even if it's just here. At least it's a bit of extra um, storage, I guess. Log stand, plank stand, firewood, sticks. I think I'd know by now where exactly that is, but... There you go. Did I put them all in there? It kind of did. How come I've got another one of these on me? Hmm. Alright, uh, we, have, we haven't quite finished yet. Hang on. we got a little bit of work to do here. What the crap was that? Is that a bird that just ran out? Can I eat that please? Thank you. Take a little bit of chicken into my inventory as well, if I can even get it in there. Jeez. Alright, so we haven't quite finished. He, he's finished. He's cleaned up. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. Are you back into exercising again? So obviously... Hang on. Hang on, he... No, hang, hang on, hang on. Just let me drop these out here for a sec. I think there might be a better way of doing this. Let's turn them this way. I mean, they're kind of not really, you know, consuming that much space, I suppose. Um, I can't do it while you're in the way. Well, maybe I can, actually. Hang on. Hang on. He's going to be complaining about... Need some... I can't get to it while he's in the way. Hang on. No, no, he's moved. Alright, we are putting it... You can put them in there if you like, but they can moved over here no matter what. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I have room to make another couple if I really want to. Oh, they're not really straight, but that's all Mike's fault. Remember that, okay? That that that's all Mike's fault. Um, well, actually, hang on. Is Mike gonna? Mike's probably gonna go cut down timber, isn't he? Alright, can I put it a little bit closer? Yeah, that's better. Uh, where's the other one? Getting confused here as to where the logs are meant to go. There you go, that's a bit, a little bit neater anyway. That's alright, I got it, Mike. He's going to come flying around this corner in a sec, you watch. And try to fill it up. Yeah, it's funny how it kind of wants to stick out a little bit. I'm not quite sure what it's up against there. 
kind of wants to stick out a little bit further. But that's that's a bit neater and a bit tidier. Okay. Cool. Oh, did I? I must have accidentally picked up the, um, the plank there. Okay. Look at that. That's a really... Oh, man. Yeah, thanks, John. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't go through that much oil, really. And all my planks are over there now. So I, I'm guessing I should probably just destroy these. Oh, do you get parts back? I think you might. Not much point in keeping them, really. Alright, delete. Uh, I think, um... Mike will come back and fix that up for us, I'm sure. So, probably next episode we might end up doing the, um, the barn area. I have to expand that out a bit more. But that's a pretty good job to have done. So there's a couple of the circular saw benches in place now, which is really handy. The logs are kind of a little bit out of the way around the corner here and just up against there. So that's that's alright. So it's got access to a walkway through here still. Yeah, that should be pretty good. I don't think I have to go a long way out, but I definitely need to stretch it because I've got a feeling what was the barn size? Was it three by four? I'm trying to remember what John had said that day. I think it, I think it is three by four. So one, two, three. Kind of don't want it to come past here. You want this to be the walkway, so it might be four that way. The problem is that in, that's also assuming that you can get it to work as far as the height goes. You know, sometimes the blueprints don't like being too high or whatever. Or am I thinking about the wrong game? Hang on, let me just start it, even if it doesn't go anywhere at the moment. It says one, two, so I've got to come yeah, way out there somewhere. That was a pig, right? Piggy boar or something? Alright, so let's move these out a fair bit. Actually, we might need to make some more for here anyway. This is kind of when you don't really want to be attacked. <laughs> mm. Oh, he's just there. Looking around for him. Uh, not sure about how far out I've got to go here. Can I move that? Not quite sure where the edge is. So that one will have to go there on the edge. So that's alright. That's still in the way, I think. I think it is, Trev. I think that might have to come back a little bit further. Yeah, I got this sneaky feeling we're gonna it's gonna have to curve at some point, but coming out as far as it looks like it's going to have to go, it's gonna be a possibly a little bit further out. That's probably enough. I think so. There's three, there's four. Yeah, right on the edge. I think that might have to come out just a little bit more. Actually, it probably has to come out a bit further because you've got the inside run as well, don't you? Oh, well, let's give him a little bit more space then. Oh, Piggy's not happy. About there, maybe? That one. Oh, he's going to go inside. Typical. Yeah, you don't realise just how much space all this actually needs. Just as well I put the, the claim pole a fair way back, I suppose. 
and they can kind of just curve. Oh, we'll have to make some more of these, but it doesn't matter if it curves back in here a bit. There you go. Actually, you might just grab the ATV. We did move these up a bit anyway, so maybe just leave it here. Alrighty, so maybe just a little bit. That picky's gone inside the base. How's that? Typical. Alright, I do have a spare one there. What are you doing? Dude. I mean, I suppose the most important thing is at least you've got at least one run mm. of protection around here. So if I curve that about there. I know this is only going to grow back, but it's kind of in the way a bit. Yeah, that's as far as we need to go. Get a little bit of protection in this corner, I suppose. How close can we go? It doesn't matter if we're right up against the edge of the foundations, I guess. <laughs> what are you doing? Man. So this can kind of come right in here somewhere, can't it? Yeah, I can probably leave it like that. Is that too... That could be too close, though. Maybe it needs to be back there somewhere. Hmm. I don't know how many I'm going to have to make. It's, it's going to be a few. Bring this in a little bit further, I think. Kind of a bit of a gap. Uh, yeah, I think we're better off just making the rest of them. Back like that. I think, uh, did I double? I think I doubled this up. <laughs> Piggy's doing the um, tour of the base, I think. You know what, dude, though? You are right in the way. Placeables, uh, no, it's construction, others there. So maybe one there. No, he's going to get trapped in there anyway. I'm going to double this up a little bit. So if I look at the gap, yeah, that's probably still okay. Sorry, dude, but you're really stuck now. Can I get these out? Not that I have to get them out, but... Can I get myself out? That's a good question. There you go. So what do I need again? I need three logs. Sorry, Mike. Um, some rope. And, and what was it? Three logs. Yeah, he's pretty tired. Good old Mike. Sorry, dude, but I'm going to take three of these. Do we need three or four? So two more sticks and a log. Can't just see two sticks on the ground. Just the one, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, well that's pretty cool. I know I've been wanting to do this for a little while. But yeah, clean up this whole area. There you go. I think that looks like it's still okay. It's a little bit kind of funny down here. Actually, maybe that should be... That shouldn't affect... I don't think it'll affect the corner... Oh, it might. Oh, I can bring them out a bit further when I make it, I suppose. Alright, maybe next episode, now that we've got the circular saw bench going... <laughs> just throw them on the ground. You messy guy. Um, we'll build some more foundations out here. Actually, there shouldn't... It, it, even if I just put down the foundations, right? I'm just trying to make sure that it's not going to go into the ground too far and then not work. See, that one's a problem. Was, yeah, these two are. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, there, the barn. The barn, the barn, the barn. 
So I think in terms of going left and right, it fits in that direction. Uh, now if we can just slide up onto here, how? Yeah, okay, it should be fine. Just checking. Have I got it in the right? Should be like that. Yeah, so it it should fit in width-wise, with a bit of room to spare. Cool, fantastic. So that'll work. So it'll go right to there. I still might have to move these back a tad. I'll see. I'll see. It's probably going to be okay. In fact, that one can probably go back a little bit now. I'm being a little bit... Uh, OCD-ish here by doing that, but anyway. Yeah, it should be enough room. Okay. Means we've got a little bit more room out the front here too, which is pretty good. I think sometimes you need that though. Look at look at this. Look at the mess. Look, Mike, the mess you've left. Unbelievable. And these are all full. Cool. Cool. All right, guys, I feel pretty good about that. That's um that's something I've been wanting to do for a while. John had mentioned it in the comments as well, and it's like, man, I keep thinking every time I put a log in, I'm getting two boards where I could be getting four. So anyway, and I've also cleaned up this area now, so next episode I think we might as well just make the barn. That's something we missed last time, wasn't it, really? Last season we kind of didn't get onto the high-end um, food recipes and stuff because we were lacking milk and whatnot. I, well, actually, uh, oh no, we did get milk right towards the end, didn't we? But, yeah, I had problems trying to find a goat. Anyway. I think finding Mike, um, the ATV, we we know where the truck is, by the way. Um, it is actually down here. Uh, hang on, where was it? I think... Uh, the bottom little green dot is where you start. And just north of that, I think it was in that town. So I think that's where it was. I'm pretty certain that's where it was. So we have seen it before, so we've got to get that as well, but apart from getting the ATV and the truck and Mike, probably one of the next best things is really to get the barn up and going. And like John says, you want to get it up and going because you want to get all the high-end uh, foods made. Oh, just a bird. I was wondering what it was that ran across. Um, so that you can get all the high-end recipes and stuff going and get your health and stamina and stuff stats up as high as possible. Y you know what I mean? They're the kind of things you want to work on. Let me just feed my face. Has he produced any more? That helps immensely. Yeah, I'm almost at the stage now where I'm pretty happy... Um, with the whole greenhouse and the food that he's um, gathering and stuff. It's pretty, pretty good. Alright, so I can put that back. Put that back. Uh, yeah, the feather's kind of a little bit annoying that they're way up here. I have to rearrange that somehow. So what else have I got? I've got a stone. And then I've got the two oil. And I've got some biofuel from in here, which is pretty cool. So we'll put these three across, craft up another biofuel. Yeah, see, we, we're down quite low. We really need to start getting a lot more of that, I think. Anyway. Alright, guys, I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you really enjoyed it today. Got a fair bit done. Got a fair bit cleaned up and whatnot. Um, certainly next episode we can build the barn, that would be awesome, get things up and running. Give Mike a chance for his biceps to cool down a bit, I think. Poor guy. Anyway. Alright guys, I'll leave it here, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you can certainly help and support the channel by smashing the like button for the video, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you can mega help the channel out by subscribing. Alright everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.